Hey guys, okay, look, if you're, if you look, if you're very new to Tarkov and you're looking for a bit of advice with the starting, because there is, a, a, look, there is heaps to learn. It's going to take you probably three, three to maybe four wipes to really understand the whole function of the game, because it is so complex, but that's also what makes it so good. Um, pretty much Tarkov in a, a nutshell is pretty much... AIs on maps versus players. Um, they, you know, everyone can shoot everyone. The idea is pretty much to go in and either do your tasks, or to go in and hunt players and get gear, or high value items and get to an extraction point to extract with it and save it. So if you extract with it, it comes into your stash and then you can keep it. Uh, you have like like your gamma container here, which is you know whatever's in your gamma you can't lose. Anything else on your body you will lose if you die. Um, so obviously you know this is all bits and pieces and higher, wep uh, higher gear, higher weapons. Like you can see here, like customized mod modding of an M4 uh, lowers your recoil. Sorry, a HK and it lowers your recoil, and that's the idea. So. There's a lot of mechanics in the game which affect a lot of different aspects to it. So what I'm going to do to try and make it really simple is explain just a couple of things. So you need keys to get into most of the rooms and the doors. So the keys you sort of want to keep. Don't want to, you know, if any doubles you can sell in the market. The market is um, a new aspect where, for example, say I went here and I needed a key. Um, you know, like I can see what keys are up and how much people want for them. Um, you know, so like it, the, the difference is by having a market now, it means people that play the game a lot more, one, they can sell items to save you time because why, like before they bought the market in, you used to run around for ages, like just to find the keys. And then, you know, it might take you, 10 times the amount of time to find a key just to do a task that cost like you know it's a two minute task so to say like you know so having the market it is honestly better to buy something and then resell it than to go no i'm not going to waste my money money is so easy to make in this game you know this is this is all my opinion but um that's my input on it. I look at it and go, well, if I want to make money, I'll do money runs and play and go runs in places where I know I make quick coin back. And, you know, when I look at what the return for the time compared to running for one key the whole time, you know, like they, it's a bit of a no brainer to me. But um, what, what I'm going to do to make it real simple is I'm going to show you now so if we go over to our dealers, so each dealer you have to level up and every level it unlocks different weapons and equipment you can buy. Whether it's ammunition that you buy, as you can see here, uh, each like each round is different uh, damage. So some have a lot higher flesh damage, as in for a, an opponent without armor. Some have penetration damage for a, a, an opponent with armor. So I would normally at the start run pretty much tease anything with T or trace around. It normally has pretty high flesh damage plus it also has some penetration. Um, but you know you can Google this as well and just look for an ammo chart for Escape from Tarkov and then you can see sort of the difference and you know weigh up the value for the cost of the ammunition that you're using. Even with pistols I look for it. T's seem, seem to be very um, consistent across the ammo chart and, and it will be the difference between killing someone and getting through their armor you know or not getting through the armor and not doing any damage to them um, if you're going to run different ammo look for like uh, body damage shoot them legs arms things like that where you'll have more impact to the individual by doing it that way but what So this is just the Escape from Tarkov, uh, the wiki. A lot of people refer from it, refer to it from. I'll put a link in the description, uh, but you can just Google pretty much anything and you'll see the name come up in the Google search. If you literally 
I think all I typed in to find this was um, prep or task guides. And then let's look for the one which actually stated uh, the wiki in it. So uh, all this is is a bit of a reference. Uh, it shows you all the extraction points. You've got a couple of different maps here which show you a lot of information where the extractions actually are and the right names. Um, the dorms, you know, uh, the, the two-story and the three-story in reference to all the rooms in them, you know, and heaps more information. Like, it, it's really something which is quite good. If you've got a second monitor to have beside you, you can refer to things and, you know, have a look or figure out exactly where you are if you don't know the map. Um, but, you know, make sure you have a look through them in your, your own time uh, or as you're getting ready to go. So, and you can Google any of the maps. You know, and they're all in here with lists of keys and spawn points and things like that. So, and keep in mind when you are in here, like, you know, people, are, players are going to spawn everywhere. So, anything like, for example, the safes and the weapons. So, you know, if someone's spawning over here and you're spawning here and you've, you know, gone in and you've looted a couple of things and then you're heading up to this one, there's a high chance that... There could have been players here that ran up, looted this. Could be another player that's come over, you know, and killed this. Like, you, you'll cross paths if you follow the dots. So you've got to slow down and think about and really look and listen and see if, you know, you, you can pick up, okay, there's definitely players over there or not. Uh, but we'll move on now and we'll just have a quick look here. Um, this is the same, exactly the same thing, but it's just easier than trying to type it in. And I've just typed in uh, prep or task guides for this one to bring it up. So, and this is referring to um, sorry. checking. Oh my god, that's bad. Um, and this is referring to the task checking, as you can see here, which is the one after you kill the five scabs on customs. Where you're required to go and get the gold um, or the bronze pocket watch uh, on the chain so it states here what you require the machinery key and it gives a description of it that's clickable and you can look into it more it shows well it normally shows where it is but the pitch is not working um, but it shows on the map uh, where the key spawns if you do want to try and do a run i would just buy it and then kill my five scabs or you know other tasks depending on what it is and just come through and then get the pocket watch. This is just showing the construction yard where the fuel tanker is. Uh, but what we're going to do right now is I'll head into customs uh, just offline and show you other things which are important to implement from the start, which will help with your leveling. So we'll head in now and I'll show you how the leveling works. So you have uh, your PMC or whether you pick to be a bear, you'll have a bear um, and scav. So a scav is literally just a uh, you're pretty much coming in as like one of the AI computers. Um, other scars won't shoot at you, but you know anything you get or get out with, you get to keep. But the difference, or like I guess, like it can be good and bad. You can definitely advantage from it, but you do enter um, raids late, and there has to be players in a raid for you to get into them uh, as a scav. But right now we're going to go in and customs and we're going to make sure it's daytime and we're going to go in offline mode for this raid if you want to go in offline mode it just means that uh, you won't lose anything on you uh, you're not actually live and it's uh, uh, not actually playing online and it's a good opportunity to get a feel of the game and learn maps and things like that you don't progress at all uh, but it is just something if you want to test stuff test guns things like that you want to enable um, the you know you can enable your scab bosses. You can change the AI different difficulties and all that. But at the moment we're just going to go in like this. Okay, so we're on customs and this uh, look people call this big red. Uh, on the map it's more referred to it's actually customs, uh, but there is an office in there which we'll go back in. I was in there earlier, but I had an issue with my sound, so I'm just redoing this. Um, this is just to show a couple of things. So, 
when you come in uh, with anything you find uh, so you upgrade like for example now your skills as you see all through here and I don't farm mine by any means I sort of just do what I can when I can as you can see um, but you do like they are important uh, your strength is important your endurance is important like really they the most of them are to be honest it's just a matter of figuring out what will work and how you can upgrade them so like things for example like if you pick up um picking up the pineapple you know you drink it it helps with your hydration and later on like um you, know, you obviously have hydration and things like that and a weight so for me how it says my well, weight in kilo is 42 because i'm 43 because uh, of all the gear that I'm wearing uh, I'll up actually be upgrading my uh, strength over time as long as I survive and get out if you die you still get the same actually no if you die you still get the return uh, of it so yeah like it's it's like you've got to meet certain requirements to get things but by doing stuff like this like taking them in and then discarding them you see I get double the loot points it's a good thing so even if you don't want something the way of saying pick it up and then discard it because you get more for doing it now especially with bags as well you know like so here uh, I'm sure you like you know obviously if, you, if you're not sure or not exactly a hundred percent on what I'm saying like for you know for example you know you'd eat stuff like you'd play the game out play it how it is you know if you do want to farm stuff google it and you can see how to farm it but um you know you, like i don't think you get much for putting things back but discarding them you, you'll get a bit extra you know there's body armor there's more food just have a look around everywhere because that's really what you're doing is uh just trying to find whatever you can I'm just going to take you to two filing cabinets just so you understand the way they work as well. Obviously you wouldn't be running around just straight like this and, and I'm doing this just for demonstration. This is not how you play. So this is like a weapons crate. Um, they do spawn more than just weapons but you know, see, so you get more XP for picking it up. And that's, that's pretty much what you got to do. you got to loot everything but also listen for players. Um, but that's it guys you just gotta keep taking things and grind um, play slow use cover you know get used to using different sort of setups in a way of saying you know and like for example if you think there could be someone somewhere don't walk out See, like, look, that's a really bad example because of how small it is. But let's just say, like, we came up here, we were running, then we heard steps, you know. Obviously, slow down and, you know, creep along aiming. Be ready because if you just do this, you go, shit, there's a player there. Like, you know, like, you're the one that's going to be at a disadvantage because that's how they all play, you know. Like, make sure you get used to aiming. When you come in, look for things, and look for players. Uh, scabs are very OP. They're very quick as well with their shots. So just be prepared. You're going to die to scabs a lot. But anyway, guys, look, I think I'm going to cut it there for the first one, just for this intro into just a beginner's guide. Uh, if you need help with anything else, make sure you leave a comment. I'm happy to do more. Or you can just come and hit me up when I'm live. Uh, make sure you leave a like and a follow if you've enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on my next one.